Aries, the light of life itself. I come forth and from the plane of mind, I rule. Let us sound the keynotes of Aries. Recreation, regeneration, reorientation, and renunciation. Aries as the sign of beginnings, the beginning of a new creative process, and in transitioning to re-enter into the recurring and constant cycles of experience. The period wherein the soul changes its direction, its purpose, and its method, and finally enters upon that definitely defined process, which we call spiritual regeneration and initiation. Reorientation, that great cycle of repolarization, leading the passage around the wheel, which steadily and persistently leads the man, the woman, all of humanity, the inner subjective man into outer manifested expression and the personality recedes into the background, reorientation. Aries is the birthplace of divine ideas. Souls brought into incarnation and controlled by Mars until they reach the point of reorientation and become sensitive to the influence of Mercury. May all accomplish this reorientation and in transitioning, find they have arrived at unity through effort from esoteric astrology page 58. Aries, a new beginning, the creative process from life to death of the physical body, bringing mind into greater prominence. Aries is the light of life shining forth from the spiritualizing personality. Soul focus. One, start with the point of soul focus. Raise the consciousness into the head, as high in the head as you can. Carry the consciousness upward through the astral body and the mind to the soul. And now visualize a lotus fully opened, scintillating with light as a symbol of the soul body.
assume the attitude of the observer. And from that point, observe the personality below. Visualize the etheric body, see energy flowing freely up and down the etheric spine. And now consciously throw soul energy down into the center at the base of the spine using indigo blue light, the light of the second ray. Then raise it slowly via the five centers up the etheric spine, then into the ajna, and then the crown up into the soul body. And now we will say the soul mantra. I am the soul. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. I am the soul. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. And now from the soul vehicle, the causal body, draw down love, and intelligence. We align the centers for the flow of intelligence from the knowledge petals five of those to the mental base, the mental sacral, the mental solar plexus, to the mental spleen. We bring those together and bring them down to the etheric throat and then to the ultimate major and then up into the brain. This is alignment of centers for the flow of intelligence. And now the alignment of centers for the flow of love. We take all the love petals, the five love petals, and bring them down to the astral head, to the astral ajna, to the astral throat, to the astral heart, to the astral solar plexus, to the astral sacral, and to the astral base. And then we bring the flow of love back up to the heart and over to the etheric heart and then to the pituitary gland, in the front of the head. And then we bathe the whole nervous system with the flow of love.
Allow the flow of intelligence and love into your being and into the group. And now we align with Master DK and our group soul. Visualize the souls of all our group members. There are 10 of us here. Move into an alignment with Master Dual Cool. And move into close alignment as a group. Include those working with us from the other side of the veil. And now visualize the soul of all our group members. As we say, as the soul, we work in light and darkness cannot touch us. We take our stand within the light. We work and from that point, we never move. That is the protective formula invoking the assistance of the healing angels and the protective aura of the Christ using the sign of divinity, the cross of divinity. I'll say it again. We touch our forehead and say, as a soul, we work in light and darkness cannot touch us. Touch our heart. We take our stand within the light. And then we go to the left eye. We work, and from that point, we never move and touch our right eye. Recognize and strengthen our unity, our radiance, our service as we sound. Radiance we are in power. We stand forever with our hands stretched out, linking the heavens and the earth, the inner world of meaning and the subtle world of glamour. We reach into the light and bring it down to meet the need. We reach into the silent place and bring from thence the gift of understanding. Thus with the light we work and turn the darkness into day. Now we align the centers for the flow of energy from above using triangles. The triangle from extra planetary, the planetary triangle, the triangle with Christ, DK, and the healing angels, triangle with the group centers, the crown, Ajna, and the Alta Measure, and then the triangle with will, love and intelligent petals. See living lines of lighted energy, the flow of healing energies. We look at this picture and we see all of these 
triangles superimposed on each other from the top to the bottom. So we focus on these triangles, we step down and we vitalize and we direct. The soul triangle is first, that's the love petals, the will petals and the intelligence petals. And we bring that triangle down on the chakra triangles, the head, the ajna and the alta major. And then we bring that triangle down on top of the gland triangle which is the pineal, the pituitary, and the carotid, and bring that triangle down on the ajna, the right eye, and the left eye. We offer our group as a channel through which the Christ, hierarchy, and the angels can pour their love, light, and magnetism. Healing the cleavages, assuring soul presence and guidance in the transition. Healing the cleavages and assuring soul presence and guidance in the transition. Soothing the astral field of the receiving serving group. Strengthening the heart center of the serving group in the transition of their companion and group member. Dissipating the glamour of the fear of physical transition and changes that will occur for the individual and the group. And we pause as we visualize the stream of healing energy that flows into our group and focus our intention. We visualize our group surrounding those in transition. We see the group soul and our group members focusing, stepping down, vitalizing and directing the healing energies in and through as we sound. Slowly and deliberately, we say, may the love of the one soul focused in this group radiate upon you aspirants and disciples in transition on these potent energies of Aries and support all those assisting you permeating every part of your body, healing, soothing, strengthening and dissipating all that hinders your smooth transition from this physical incarnation into the soul body, assuring your continued service as one with the soul.
healing, soothing, strengthening, dissipating, all that hinders the transition. Sense, see, know the subtle changes are occurring. And uh, we withdraw the healing energy back from the hands, back to the brain, to the ajna, and back to the soul. We thank the inner group of souls who have joined us subjectively for their participation. We thank the Christ and Master GK for their radiating presence and protection. We thank the healing angels and devas for their contribution and their magnetism. And we close with the expression of thanks. We sound the Gayatri Mantra. O thou who givest sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return, unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by a disk of golden light, that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey to thy sacred feet. In these dynamic energies of Aries, dissipate the fires of Mars of the astral plane of glamour and illusion and find freedom from thought forms of the mental plane that limit our progress and service. Reorientation on the great wheel. And we close with the great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out. 
and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh. Oh. Oh.